So today we're going to be testing out the suction power of the can lower on the carpet with some oatmeal and on some flour. We're also going to be doing the same thing with the attachments to see how well they suck on the carpet here as well. So we'll get started. As you can see, it basically got everything on the oatmeal side, but on the flower side, we'll still see some white patches. But when I go to grab some flour, I don't really feel any flour, so maybe that is just like a tiny bit left over, but not too much. But yeah, there's still some white spots, so let's see how the attachment does. So as you can see, the carpet is no longer white at this spot, so I think that definitely did a lot better than the actual regular attachment. I am for the bigger spots had a little bit tougher time, it being sucked up two pieces on this path, but not too bad. So for that attachment, it's definitely better for the final particles. So unfortunately, this attachment is not too great. As you can see, it didn't pick up much of the flower. It kind of just uh, smeared it. Same thing for the oatmeal. It kind of just pushed to the side. So this attachment is not too great. With this attachment, you can actually slip it off your view. And even better section, so we'll see if that was better on the carpet here. So as you saw, that was a lot better. It got basically all the flour here, just as well as the long attachment. And for the oatmeal, it kind of pushed some of the bits towards the end, but basically got everything. So yeah, what's out this part is definitely is a lot better. So this is meant for more of a dusting cart, but even for dusting, it's not great suction. So this is what you should be using, even though it doesn't have any um, bristles. So next, we're going to be doing the same thing, but this time on the tile with the oatmeal flour again. So we'll start with the regular vacuum. As you saw, it didn't get completely in the creases. I still see a little bit in here from the uh, from the oatmeal right here. And also to the side right here, you'll see that it didn't get completely all uh, the acre pieces. So overall, this will find uh, I'm not as weird as I said, the carpet was still pretty good compared to a lot of the other uh, vacuums out there. As you will see, it being picked up completely of the flower right here, but it did pick up all the bigger pieces of the oatmeal, so that is pretty good. As you see, this one also didn't pick up all the flower, but I think it did a little bit better than the long cart. It left a little bit of the street, but soaked up everything on the oatmeal. So for the attachments, I think it performed a little bit better on the carpet as well, but still, this is pretty good. Next, for the functionality, this is able to stand on itself as it clicks on right there. Once you hit the click, it just stands on by itself. And it does have the unique design that all of the weight is down here. So you kind of use the vacuum here to handle this low weight. So it feels really lightweight and really easy to use, especially when it's kind of like three. You can rotate this way, you can rotate side to side, so you can really get all the motion that you need for vacuuming. So this doesn't feel restrictive at all. Very loose and very portable. There is all low and high speed settings here. And then you click this one to pop the base out. And the base only has one speed. You click this on to turn it on. You can charge this by itself. When you want to charge this, you got to have this on the here. And then you charge the whole thing from here. This is the base and you attach this part onto here and that is the plug right here and this is where you charge it as you will see this thing lines up the here you just slot it on and that is charging so basically it cuts this onto the base but you put it on standing like that every time to charge it which is pretty simple down here you see the brush this is how the brush looks the fabric and the brush is pretty long these are the two wheels here you cannot actually clean this brush out, so it's going to be a little bit hard to clean, but it has a cut hair by right here. That's now that it cuts all the hair in here, so you can take them out without having to cook the brush entirely out. Coming back to here, how you empty this is basically pop this open here, <laughs> and then you pop this open right in here. I dropped a little bit, so you got to be careful when you open this thing. You gotta open this right at the garbage can. And lastly, we'll move on to the durability. I'll use these scissors to scratch all the materials on this vacuum to see how durable and how well they can withstand any day scratches. Scratching is here. So I'm reflective of the light. I, oh, I can see a little bit of scratch right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a little bit of scratch right there. Scratch the white card. Yeah, I can definitely see a scratch right there. Right there, as you can see on the camera. Stupid green card. 
with a great cart that is very easily scratchable right in there. And all of you guys can pick this up. I can definitely see it right there. And the only other part is the handle right here. And this one is also pretty easily scratched, as you can see right there as well. So overall, this is a budget option. So you can expect super highly durable uh, materials. Uh, they can lower the price so low because they cut back on the quality of the materials. But with that said, this is all just superficial damage. You're not going to really, really hunting your actual vacuum inside with these damages. So I got to say overall, with the, how well it's uh, interception, how well the portability is, and how well the mobility is, overall, I can still definitely recommend this because this is a very fun vacuum to use because of the way it is designed, almost weightless right here. So yeah, if you have a look, then definitely put one up.